So once you have um, your outline done, you can take a look at you know your your value system. Um, and I did take a little eraser to the lines and lighten them up on that yellow pepper. This is going to be a red pepper and a yellow pepper. Um, I just laid in some really dark down at the bottom and I'm now adding some lighter gray to it here and there. Um, and doing some layers back and forth a little bit right now just trying to build some of the form. And it's pretty, you know, loose and rough and that's totally fine as a start getting your base values in. The nice thing about acrylics is even though it does dry really fast, a little water can reactivate it. And so uh, just adding a little bit of water to my paintbrush, cleaning my paintbrush out, uh, and adding a little bit of water, uh, it'll pull that lighter color or that darker color, whatever it is that I'm working with, um, and it'll let you pull it uh, and kind of blend your edges. Uh, so you can use that sort of reactivation uh, of the paint. And don't let your paintbrush be too wet. If you do, you'll just end up with this thin, watery, milky paint, um, kind of loose on the page. So if you want it to be controlled, uh, dry your paintbrush off on a paper towel a little bit so that it's a damp paper, uh, paintbrush, but not, not truly wet. Um, and it may take a few layers going back and forth, you know, finding your lights, your darks. Uh, that's fine. That's kind of what today is, just an exploration of the values that you see in this. Always pay attention to, uh, you know, layers. The front of this pe pepper sits in front of the back of the pepper, so you've kind of got this overlapping. Overlapping is key to making something look three-dimensional. All of this is being done with that little filbert. Um, when it comes to acrylics, I think filbert's probably my favorite to use. Um, it's just very versatile. Uh, I do use a few others uh, on occasion. I, I like the angled shader brush. Once in a long while, I'll use a small round. Um, and once in a long while, I'll use like a bigger flat, but the one that I use more often than anything is this uh, filbert. You see me every once in a while sort of scrubbing it with my fingers. Uh, this is acrylic, so it doesn't have a lot of the um, toxins that like oil paint would have in it. It's not going to hurt you if you get a little on your fingers. Um, but I find sometimes that little uh, scrub with a finger can sort of blend some edges quickly um, where I don't want it to be quite so, I don't know. I don't want to totally blend it out, but I also don't want it to have this really hard line. Um, so a little bit of that little scrub with my fingertip uh, is helpful. Kind of dims the edges a little bit. And not everything is a paint stroke as well. Um, some of that I'm kind of tapping my paint onto the surface rather than stroking across the surface. Now for that lighter pepper. It's a yellow pepper, so it's considerably lighter in value.
Again, just laying in the base colors right, or the, the base values right now, kind of where I see them. And this is sped up. I'm using about three different grays. I've got a real dark one. I've got a really light one. And then I have one or two that are kind of in the mid and I'm layering them in one on top of the other to get some of these intermediate values. Again, this entire thing, I'm just using that little filbert. Filbert has a rounded top edge to it, so you can get some, you know, smaller dots, I guess, than you can with like a straight. But it's still a relatively flat and thin brush, so you can create some nice smooth transitions and stuff with it. Always think about your light source. Look at your um, subject and think about it. Every part of this pepper reflects where that light source is. So obviously this is sped up. This entire painting took me about an hour to do, maybe a little over. Sometimes I clean my brush between my values, sometimes I don't. Depends on how much of a difference I want or how big of a change. So this is the nice thing about acrylic, it does dry fast. So I can set my hand down on top of it, you know, right there, and not worry about getting my paint messed up because it dried already.